So this is the final spoon cell. How it goes in my truck. And I don't know what it produces at this point. I think a little bit more than 450 milliliters. I did my last configuration. The top, the round metal part. It's uh, the minus which connect both outsides. In the middle you see the plus or the coming from the battery going straight into it. And you see the top where it produces the most gas to my surprise. The tap at the top is much more distance than the bottom. But the most gas comes out from the top. When I had to sell parallel, it isn't didn't produce much. This one produces a little bit more. I don't know how much it produces. I will install it in my truck for a few weeks and see how it works. I had it running for about 20, 25 minutes. The water didn't get hot or changed at all in temperatures so it stays cool uh, I'm happy about that and I don't think I have any water vapor or anything in the cell and just to let you know this bottom here gives you an opening inside the cell so to let coolant to flow in keep the cell cool also this holes they work as coolant they also work as like a nest where uh, the gas can separate because the current around it is focused more and you see the little punch that's not holes they're like bumps on the inside and then to the outside you can see that those are also uh, bumps where the gas develop. You need to imagine like a hump. It's much easier to kick a ball off a hump than from a flat surface. So the double electric layer basically will be elevated, and then I come with a current and kick it out, kick the electrons off. That's what I think it is. And it works really good so far. I don't have this huge amount of gas people report, but I will let you know. I'm installing.